Welcome to this training about the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. It is designed to give you all the information you need to ensure a great Greenway experience for your visitors. Here's what we will cover. Number one, a little bit about Greenways in Ireland in general. Then specific information about around the history and facilities of the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. We'll think about getting into the mindset of being a Greenway host. We'll also look at the great things there are to see and do along the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways and we look at the marketing supports available to you to help you to promote and market the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. Part 1. Greenways in Ireland. This is un undoubtedly an exciting time in the development for Greenways in Ireland, supported by the National Greenway Strategy, which was published in 2018. Greenways are for everyone. While they might be designed with the needs of cyclists in mind, they are also enjoyed by pedestrians, walkers, wheelchair users, children in buggies, and of course, people on different types of bicycles, such as tandems, e-bikes, tagalongs, toddler trailers, and adapted bikes for people with different physical abilities. Greenways enhance the environment, the economy, and the quality of life in the surrounding areas. They provide an excellent amenity for local populations, and they also contribute to the rural economy by attracting visitors away from traditional tourism hotspots and creating job opportunities in businesses at a very local level. The successful implementation of the National Greenway Strategy will lead to a greenway network of national and regional routes that have significant potential to deliver an increase in activity tourism in Ireland that are regularly visited by visitors and locals and contribute to a healthier society through increased physical activity. They provide a predominantly off-road experience that links places of interest in areas of different types of beautiful scenery with plenty to see and do. They also provide opportunities for the development of local business and economies. Kerry County Council is responsible for the development, management and marketing of the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. Fulcher Ireland, the National Tourism Authority, also plays a key role in greenway development. Fulcher Ireland works closely with the local authorities and businesses and communities to help them make the most of the tourism opportunity that greenways present. The intention is to achieve positive social, health and economic benefits for the local community, as well as to stimulate tourist growth. The Kingdom of Kerry Greenways are amongst the earliest greenways to be developed in Ireland. Let's have a look at the others that already exist. The Great Western Greenway was the first on the scene in 2010. Now, with over a decade of activity behind it, there are some really interesting statistics available that help us appreciate the impact a greenway can have over time. The Great Western Greenway now enjoys visitor numbers of 250,000 per year. It has resulted in 200 direct jobs and 710 indirect jobs, with a local economic benefit of almost 39 million. The Waterford Greenway opened in 2017, and within two years, over 560,000 people had used the Greenway. The success of the Greenways in Waterford and Mayo highlights the significant health and economic benefit that projects such as these can bestow on local communities. Other Greenways include the Great Eastern Greenway in County Louth, the Old Rail Trail in Westmeath, and the Royal Canal Greenway, which at 130 kilometres is Ireland's longest off-road greenway. The Limerick Greenway opened in 2021. It links the towns of Rathkeel and Abbeyfield and covers 40 kilometres entirely off-road and runs as far as the Kerry border. And yes, the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways opened in October 2022. The Kingdom of Kerry Greenways opened in October 2022. The Listowel to the Kerry border section and onwards to Abbey Field connects counties Limerick and Kerry and spans 16 kilometres. There's a 13.6 kilometre distance between Tralee to Fenet. Importantly, there are future plans to extend at the Limerick side into Adair and perhaps even Limerick City and on the Kerry side to connect Listowel and Tralee. When that happens, there will be a substantial national greenway all the way from Limerick City to the Wild Atlantic Way in Fenet County Kerry. So on to part two, a little bit more about the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. The Limerick and Kingdom of Kerry Greenways were developed along a stretch of the 85 kilometre Limerick to Tralee railway line, which operated for nearly 100 years, 
opening in the late 1880s and closing in the 1970s. The route, which was also known as the North Kerry Line, had branch lines to Foynes in County Limerick and Feenish in County Kerry. Here's some memorabilia from the time, with over 90 years of train service, 80 years for passengers and longer for goods. This video, which tracks the la train's last journey, gives a sense of what the train was like in its heyday. 3rd and 4th of June, 1972. All aboard. At Ballingran, the Fines line continued straight on while we curved sharply left from at Keel and Arda. We pass Arda, the home of the chalice. At Newcastle West terminus, the train changed tracks and headed left under the bridge for Tralee. It then climbed the steep hill which led to the top of Barna, passed through the tunnel and paused at Barna station. Beyond Barna, it is downhill along the track, which opened in 1880. It had only taken five years to construct the 69 kilometres, 43 miles, from Newcastle West to Tralee. The train now enters Tullig Wood, today one of the highlights of the Great Southern Trail. A few miles further on, the train pauses at Abbey Field. again west of Listowel as it passes through the small stations of Lixnaw, Abidorne and Alfert. We see some of them again on the return journey. The train crosses the river field on a fine bridge near Fenug. Our next scene is at Kilmorna, a tiny station located between Listowel and Abbey Field. Now we see the veteran engine working hard as it climbs through Tullig Wood, onwards through Temple Lantern Parish to Barna.
crew can relax as the train begins to run downhill to Newcastle. Final images are of Ratkeel and Adair, where the train crosses the River Mag and continues to Limerick. You can see here in the coloured sections the parts of the Great Southern Railways which have now become the Limerick Greenway. Added to that, we now have the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways from Listole to the Limerick border and from Tr Tralee to Feenet. In time, the plan is to also open the connecting section between Listowel and Tralee. At that time, the Greenway will then extend all the way from Rathkeelan County Limerick to Feenet on the Wild Atlantic Way. So that is the backstory of your Greenway. Let's now look at some of the key facilities along the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. Firstly, there is a printable guide that accompanies this training of frequently asked questions and includes some of the points we will mention in the following slides. It is a good idea to print this off and keep it near to hand in order to help deal with queries and inquiries. Firstly, there are parking facilities and toilets at all the trailheads where visitors can join the Greenway. At Feenish, Tralee, Listole and Abbeyfield. There are no toilets on the route itself. There are a number of bike hire options. Here are the three companies servicing the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. Light bikes servicing Abbey Field, Listowel, Tralee and Feenet, and Tralee Bike Rental and Tralee Gas and Nursing Supplies uh, servicing Tralee. All supply helmets and locks, as well as accessories such as child and pet trailers or child seats. There is an emergency repair or replace service when needed, and prices vary depending on the type of bike, whether it's child, adult, electric, hybrid, tandem, duo, and power assisted for wheelchair us users. There is a good selection of bikes and it is always best to check online on the websites of the bike hire companies or to phone. To help your visitors plan, here is a guideline on distances and times. The Tralee to Phoenix Greenway is 13.6 kilometers and on average at a leisurely pace, it will take one hour to cycle and three hours and 20 minutes to walk. To travel on the Greenway from Listowel to Abbey Field, is 16 kilometers and on average and at a leisurely place it will take one hour and 15 minutes to cycle and about four hours to walk. Here is a handy table that you could possibly print off for reference. It gives you indicative times and distances as well as a sense of what can be seen and experienced along each of the routes. Kingdom of Kerry Greenways have also invested in being an accessible greenway, particularly with regard to the quality of the surface the space at the access points, use of signage technology to support the visually impaired and wheelchair adapted picnic benches. Fulcha Ireland has produced a very handy guide on accessible tourism that can be downloaded at this link. There is also a Greenway Code of Respect in operation. Here is an image from the Limerick Greenway and the Kingdom of Kerry Greenway signs will be put in place during 2023. It has some basic etiquette, etiquette guidelines for Greenway users that, if observed, ensure the experience remains pleasant for all. A leave no trace policy also applies. All Greenway users are encouraged to bring their litter home with them. So let's move on now to part three, hosting the Greenway. The development of the Greenway in your area presents opportunities to gain new business from local, domestic and international vi visitors. In other locations, the Greenways have resulted in increased tourism numbers, the emergence of new businesses, and the Greenways have helped promote the wider destination as a must-see visitor experience. Let's have a look at this short video from a business owner in Kilmac Thomas on the Waterford Greenway. My name is Stephen Lynch and I opened the Coach House Coffee in 2017 with my business partner, Craig Dee. Coach House Coffee is located at the halfway point of the Waterford Greenway. The Waterford Greenway is 46 kilometres in total and we are based in Kilmer Thomas. 
Kilmer Thomas has been a huge benefactor of the Waterford Greenway. Kilmer Thomas is now a hive of activity like it once was back many years ago. We have seen many improvements from businesses have opened, improvements to existing businesses and a huge range of new and improved local amenities. Initially, Coaches Coffee opened as a 26-seater cafe in 2017. At the time, we employed approximately 10 full-time equivalent staff, all of whom were local. In 2018, the Greenway welcomed over 280,000 visitors alone that year, and that's why we increased from a 26-seater cafe in 2017 to a 150 indoor-seated restaurant that you see here today. Agencies such as Fall to Ireland, Waterford County Council have various initiatives such as Ireland's Ancient East, which really helps to drive footfall into the area and also, most importantly, to retain visitors to the area who in turn will increase their spend in the vicinity helping local businesses and local jobs. There's a collective responsibility on us all to ensure that the Greenway is a success going into the future by working together. So who does host the Greenway? Certainly the work of the local authorities in developing and maintaining the Greenway is vitally important here. The work of organisations such as Falter Ireland, Tourism Ireland, the Kerry Tourism Industry Confederation in marketing the Greenway is also very important. Ultimately, however, it is local communities and businesses that host the Greenway. Once the infrastructure is there, it's the local community and businesses that bring the Greenway to life that translate it into a memorable visitor experience. It is really critical to work together as a community. That's really when the potential of the Greenway can be realised. Let's try now to get inside the mind of a Greenway visitor. What are they thinking about and what is it they need? Well, the Greenway visitor needs two important things, facilities and services and information. Thinking about the facilities they need to help them enjoy the visit these will include places to stop and take in the view, places to stop and snack, places to leave bikes safely while they do that, a bike lock, water and refreshments, toilet facilities and bike repair facilities. They also need a lot of information. Greenway visitors are absolutely full of questions, such as, how long will it take me to cycle or walk the Greenway? Where do I start from? Where can I park my car? How far is it from my accommodation? Will I be able to get something to eat or drink along the way? Can I bring the dog? Will it be okay with my buggy, my wheelchair, my elderly friend or my toddler, for example? Where can I hire a bike and how much will it cost? If I bring my own bike, where can I store it? Can I cycle one way and have the bike collected? How do I get back to the start if I don't want to cycle back? You can use the handy Frequently Asked Question Guide that accompanies this training to help you with these questions. Make sure that you and your team are informed so that you can ensure visitors get the best experience possible. In the next few slides, we're going to do a little self-check. There are some questions here to prompt you to think about how good an experience your business, your town or your village offers to Greenway visitors, whether they are local, domestic or international. These are a self-check to help appreciate what you do really well already and where the areas that you can improve over time really are. So thinking about how easy is it to find the way from the Greenway into the centre of the town or village? How easy is it to find a coffee shop or a toilet? Where can visitors top up a water bottle, for example? What if the bike needs a repair? Is it clear where to get help or supplies? Would locals be able to help a Greenway visitor looking for information? How knowledgeable are staff in all the local businesses? Are there clear and obvious places to park bikes and for groups to park several at a time? Thinking about accommodation in particular, can all team members tell visitors how to find the way from your accommodation to the Greenway? Are there parking racks available at the accommodation? What about bike storage facilities or drying rooms to wash and dry cycling gear and shoes? Do you provide basic repair facilities? And what about post-cycle spa or leisure options? All important things to think about in terms of really understanding your Greenway visitor. So what makes a great Greenway experience? Certainly the physical infrastructure of the Greenway is what brings people to the area in the first place. Take that as a given. Certainly great scenery helps too. 
But what else do they need to have a memorable and fantastic Greenway experience? This is what we call the experience mix. It takes a lot of different elements to combine together with your Greenway to create one overall memorable experience, such as great accommodation and a choice of accommodation options, food and dining choices, heritage and entertainment, and family fun facilities. To create memorable visitor experience, the Greenway infrastructure needs to be bundled with a range of associated services. Examples of collaborations that help make it easy for visitors to choose your destination over others are bike hire companies linking with accommodation providers, accommodation providers linking with local guides, an outdoor activity provider who might link up with a farm experience to create a joint offering, an outdoor activity provider linking with a restaurant or a gastropub, a community-led Greenway festival or event, and another way to work together is to support infrastructural changes that enhance the overall visitor experience. In summary, everybody needs to be involved. Accommodation providers, activity providers, visitor attractions, cafes, restaurants, pubs, shops, tour guides, community associations and committees. And we're on to part four, things to see and do. This is critical information for your visitor, both before they actually travel to you and when they are with you in location. In this section, we're going to talk through some of the key attractions in the trailhead towns of Phoenix, Tralee and Listowel. Starting with Listowel, known as the literary capital of Ireland, the Kerry Writers Museum is a key attraction where visitors can discover the stories and poetry of Kerry's celebrated writers. Listowel Writers Week takes place on the June Bank Holiday weekend every year. It is Ireland's oldest literary and arts festival. Listowel Castle is right in the centre of the town and is open to the public for daily tours. Listowel offers a lot in the way of entertainment. St John's Theatre is located right in the centre of Listowel Town Square. It's a converted 19th century Gothic church and a 150-seater theatre space. There are many pubs in the town that offer a variety of entertainments such as music, live bands, comedy gigs, pub theatre and even a pop-up Gwaeltacht. There are many events in Listowel. Some interesting ones are Nun Day, Dolly Parton Day, a music festival in August, and of course, the famous Listowel races that take place in both June and September. The Lartigue Monorail offers a unique chance to enjoy a demonstration journey on a full-scale replica of this unique rail from 1924. And Listowel Town itself was voted the soundest town in Ireland in 2022, the Children's Park and Woodlands is a lovely amenity and there are a lot of shops and eateries in the town for guests to enjoy. Tralee is the county town of County Kerry. It is a family friendly destination with a huge selection of experiences, facilities and adventures for families young and old to enjoy during their stay in County Kerry. It is also a great hub for nature and the outdoors. The Tralee Bay Wetland Centre is a, offers ecotourism experiences and Tralee is the starting point of a number of walking routes, namely the Dingle Way, the North Kerry Way and the Kerry Camino. Banna Beach is not far from the town and it is the access point to the Dingle Peninsula. There are a number of events such as triath the triathlon and cycling events and Tralee Golf Club can also be attra an attraction for visitors. The world famous Rose of Tralee Festival takes place in August of each year and comprises live concerts, street entertainment, a circus, markets, fun fair, fireworks, the Rose Parade, and of course the crowning of the Rose of Tralee each year. The first festival took place in 1959 and it is celebrated by Irish communities all over the world. Tralee also offers a wide variety of entertainment with a great selection of pubs and restaurants. And of course the Shimsa Thira National Folk Theatre of Ireland is located in Tralee, offering music, comedy, dance theatre, workshops and art exhibitions. On now to Fínet, on Ian Oith, translated as the Wild Place. It is a fishing village with a strong maritime and shipping heritage and there is an active harbour right there in Fínet. There's a lovely playground and beach at the Greenway Trailhead and the area offers a variety of water activities such as boat trips to Little Samfire Island and Lighthouse, wild water adventures and public water activity facilities. Fishing is also enjoyed at Fenet. Fenet is also the home to St. Brendan the Navigator, who was born there in 484 
and who set up a monastery in Ardfert. He was known as an explorer and may indeed have been the first European to visit America a full 900 years before Columbus. He is known as the patron saint of Kerry seafarers and travellers. There is an iconic statue of St. Brendan in St. Brendan's Garden just beyond the harbour in Feenet as well. And now we move to our final section, the marketing supports to help you promote and sell your greenway. Kerry County Council has created a partner pack for use by businesses and communities along the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. And I will now talk you through the main points of that. www.kerrygreenways.ie is the website address for the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. A new website, map and promotional leaflet are being developed during 2023. The partner pack contains a selection of images and posts that you can use in your own social media and in your own promotional material. A winter photo pack is currently available and a summer photo pack will be available later this year. These are professionally taken high resolution images that you may use to promote the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways. There is sample copy for social media posts which you can use in your own social media posts to adapt to your own business. If you don't have the pack already or the images and sample posts, you can request them from either the Stoll Chamber and Community Alliance, Tralee Chamber Alliance, or via the tourism office at kerrycoco.ie. Social media details can be found in the partner pack. There are the details on your screen for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The hashtags to use are hashtag Kingdom of Kerry Greenways, Visit Ireland, Discover Ireland, and greenways. You're encouraged to use all of those hashtags on your greenway related posts. Four key actions from the marketing perspective are to follow the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways pages on social media. You've seen the handles there for Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Like, comment and share the posts. Use the partner pack including the images and sample posts for your own social media and marketing activity. And check out Fulcher Ireland's 100% subsidised learning supports in the area of digital and online marketing at this address, fulcherireland.ae forward slash support programmes schedule. Other ways to enhance your marketing is to ensure that your listing on discoverireland.ie is up to date. This is the website managed by Fulcher Ireland to promote holidays to the domestic visitor in Ireland. The way to ensure you have a listing, or if you already have a listing, to update that listing is through the Fulcher Ireland website. Here is a screenshot of FulcherIreland.ie. Open the tab Marketing in the far right corner, and under there you see the option to manage your listing. If you click on that, you will come to this screen. The first option there is to Get Listed, where you can input the information you desire to request being listed on discoverireland.ie. On the right, you will see how to update your listing on our consumer websites. This is the only avenue available to you to get listed or to update your listing on discoverireland.ie. Another important link on this page is the Fall to Ireland's event portal, which you see there on the left-hand menu. If you click on that, you will arrive at this page where you have the opportunity to register any event that is taking place in your business or in your local area. Any Greenway related events can be registered here. Simply click register your event and follow the instructions from there. Thank you for taking this training. We have covered the history of Greenways in Ireland, the history of the Kingdom of Kerry Greenways in particular, the things to see and do on the route, the facilities that are available to your visitors and importantly, the tools that are available to you to market and sell your Greenway. We wish you every success in the season ahead. Karamagath.